Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, just uh, doing something slightly different today because a fair few people have asked me quite a few questions over the recent months on the van and I've responded wherever I know the answers and stuff but um, one of the ideas was to do a bit of a Q&A and stuff and so I thought I'd do something 18 months in because it's just a little over 18 months since I purchased this van from new and um, I made quite a few changes over the 18 months as you've seen if you've watched some of my other videos and uh, I was just going to cover some of that really and some of the questions that you've asked and stuff which are really good questions um, I'm going to go through all that today because with everything that's going on in the world today there's not uh, there's no show happening so I'm using the time wisely <laughs> so um, yeah um, some of the things that have happened to this van over 18 months first modification I ever did was the suspension that was actually one week in first weekend after buying it um, I went and picked up some uh, lowering springs from custom vans and uh, I lowered the van on coil springs 50 millimeters from stock um, there is a video for that but um, yeah I was pleasantly pleased at how it looked and how it drove um, a mixed bag on that with different people obviously everybody sees it differently but it worked out pretty good for me um, then I with the next modification which came quite closely afterwards was the sidebars I put on the chrome sidebars currently black but um, if you've watched one of my other videos called winter mode I actually have both I've got chrome and black now for different times of the year and um, that that transforms the van because it starts getting the sides looking a bit lower to the ground without actually changing anything to do with the drive um, and then I went into the front end I started putting a bit of a pack together with the sports stuff um, I'm pretty sure next thing I did was the sport line front bumper um, which again videoed that particular mod and um, that transforms the front a lot it's something that in the first instance I didn't actually like when these when these came out I didn't actually like the T6 front bumper uh, I thought it just looked like they'd stuck it on but I don't know why but I've grown to like it um, and uh, yeah over the couple of choices I had um, I decided to go with the sport line because there's the other front which is the ABT or apt as it's called now um, and that also looks really cool I couldn't really decide what to do but I'm pretty pleased with my choice I went with sport line and uh, that little splitter that's on the bottom that's an aftermarket part which a lot of people seem to rock that as well um, I certainly like it I'm on my second one I'm not gonna lie <laughs> due to a common accident yeah and then we went on to the rear spoiler um, I, I ordered my spoiler from uh, Leighton Vans and they sent me the painted article which was brilliant because they did a really good paint job on it their body shop is good and um, it was just you know made my fitting of it uh, really easy straightforward I have also got a video on that um, I, I won't put links to every video because this will be a, just a link in video but if you go on the channel if you're not already subscribed you'll find all this stuff because the title gives it away but anyway um, they they sent me the spoiler and that came through and it was a really nice mod to do yet again um, and that transformed the van it was something that I, I I just didn't like it without a spoiler and I couldn't wait to get one on it um, so that that was the next mod and then um, the next modification after that would be the windows I think I think we actually did um, the because this is a combi we did uh, yeah we the, the the mid row were already in there and so the rear windows were installed by um, Dirty Weekender which is quite local to me and um, they've used genuine glass and then uh, what I've asked for is to have the tint uh, 
drop down yet again from the from the tint that comes on it i went a little bit darker still on all of them and had that professionally done by a guy whilst it was down there at dirty weekender um, they did the glass and they did the carpeting as well and the dynamatting which is inside it so it's all been dynamated which is really good for sound deadening um, well, it is sound deadening, but it's really good for road noise. Um, it, it made a massive difference when I got it back because that was one of the mods that I didn't do. But yeah, they, they, they did a fantastic job and I highly recommend that if taking it to them, if you're gonna have that mod done. Um, so after the glass, it was, um, what came next? Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's a new day here because we had a bit of a nightmare. The uh, batteries died on the mic, so uh, because it's so windy, I couldn't record it without this uh, this external mic. Anyway, um, I think uh, picking up from where we left off, um, after the carpets and the windows, I was uh, I did the wheels and the tires, which um, I went for Vossen CVT 20 inch wheels and tires. Um, they, uh, I bought my wheels from a company called uh, Wheelbase Alloys in Manchester. Um, I did actually make a full video on that trip because they were really good in seeing me through to giving me the reassurances that the oversized wheels would uh, fit on the van without any issues and they did. Um, I've gone with a 20 inch uh, all round so we've got 9J on the front and 10.5J on the rear, so it's a staggered offset. Um, offset is ET35 on the front, ET42 on the rear. Um, and the tyres, uh, we've got the same tyres all round. They are 275, 35, 20s. And uh, I've got the same on the rear, they're just stretched. So uh, we've got the same tyres all round. And following on from the wheels, uh, next thing I did was uh, the interior. I did the, we bought a fridge, uh, which is a Dometic CFX range. I'll put the model number up. Um, and um, I needed something, somewhere to position that so as it wouldn't fly around or stuff wouldn't fly into it. So I built sort of like a temporary box seat type thing for us and the kids to be able to use as a bit of a seat to have a table, a bit of food, um, but to also create uh, something to hold the fridge still. Um, fridge is really good, nice and quiet, runs on 12 volt and um, doesn't use that much power, but it uh, get, goes down from, from nothing, it goes to really cold when you hook up quite fast actually. So I was really impressed with that. Um, then after doing the fridge in the box, I did the curtains, which we've got some blackout thermal curtains that came from uh, Vanex. And um, I went with the, all the sides and the rear tailgate, um, so we can close it all off. And they're really good, easy to fit. Um, I haven't actually done a video on that. I, I, I did film it, but um, well, let me know in the comments below if you feel that that's a video that would be worthwhile for anybody uh, and I'll put something together, but uh, I didn't feel that there was enough content to really make a video. Um, but let me know. So the, they did the curtains and then after that um, I did the interior lighting and the flip down TV. Um, the guys at Dirty Weekend are obviously do all the sides and the windows, but I left, I got them to leave the roof because I was going to mount up, a, put some wires up there and cables and that to provide like 12 volt LED lights. And uh, I wanted to flip, uh, fit a flip down TV for the kids. Um, people have been asking me what make is the flip down. It's a Xtron's, uh, CR1506 so um, yeah and it's um, a good uh, for the price it's been pretty good actually it's got a good size screen on it folds away neat 
Um, you can plug auxiliary stuff into that and all the rest of it. But, uh, but yeah, anyway, I fitted that whilst carpeted the top panels and I did make a video on that. Um, the next, after that, um, I installed the camera setup that a lot of people have been asking me about. Um, there are cameras on the front, there's cameras on the back, and I've got a, um, my rear view camera is actually a sort of dash cam type system where you can use it as just a rear view camera and turn it off, or you can leave it running and actually see what's uh, behind you. Um, so when you've got a full load in the back or the flip down is in use, uh, which would normally block the rear view mirror, uh, it doesn't affect me. I can, still what's, I can still see what's coming up behind me. Um, so that's been actually one of the better gizmos that I've purchased. Um, uh, the make of that was Autovox. Um, and um, if you, it's, I've hardwired mine in, because uh, I think you can just literally put it in through the 12 volt thing, plug and play and off you go sort of thing. It's all plug and play. Um, but I've put in mine in, in a little bit more of a permanent fashion, run all everything through the tailgate looms and um, hardwired it into ignition live. So it will shut off when I take the key out and stuff. Although it's clever enough that uh, it's got a shock sensor built in, so if you're off doing shopping or something and somebody runs into the car, it will actually turn on via the shock sensor and uh, potentially record somebody trying to leave the scene or, you know, whatever, you know, if it's a really bad accident, it's going to take the camera out anyway, but you never know. Um, so that's cool. Um, did the camera then. Uh, what's next? Uh, yeah, next mod was the DRL headlamps and the gloss grills at the front. I did make a video on this, um, but one of my favorite mods actually is the DRL headlamps. They are the Transporter HQ version two sequential indicator DRL headlamps. And um, I really like the way the indicators work because using the Carista, you can actually set it up so that when you're in day running mode, uh, it will knock off that, say you're going to ind indicate left, it will knock off that side um, so that you can, so when the indicator comes on, it knocks off that light. And uh, that's kind of like a, an Audi default type thing, which um, I really like that. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things I've done so far was the headlights. Um, I think probably because it made a big change, you know. Um, in terms of the brightness, yes, it got brighter and um, put some, it's, it's basically controlled by what bulbs you put in it. You're only going to get what out of it, what you put into it. And uh, if you're going to use the original bulbs for the halogen lights, you're probably not going to see a great deal of improvement. Um, but um, yeah, they, they've been uh, one of my favorite mods. I got the lower ones as well uh, from Traveling Light that go in the lower grills. Um, those uh, I, put, I fitted those at the same time although they came from different places obviously but yeah there's a video on that if you're interested of the whole fitting and the after um, so check that out uh, yeah that's about it for sort of the modifications that um, I've done so far um, so I was going to run into some of the questions you guys have been asking me over the last few months um, and uh, I've got some of those here so Somebody said, uh, why have I got a tow bar? Um, well, actually, I have got a trailer which we intended to tow. Um, so I haven't actually really used it much because actually the way we've got it set up at the back, I just don't need it at the moment. But there were intentions to probably consume a bit more of that back space. So I kept hold of our trailer. Um, but besides that, uh, I used the bike rack as well. I got an Altara bike rack. Um, and um, we strapped the bikes on and stuff. So the tow bar also, uh, it, it is, I did go for a removable one, but um, I've been leaving it on lately because coming back to the car when it's parked on the side of the road, people are just basically right up the back of it. So we kind of call it my parking aid if you want when it comes to protecting the back. Um, it, it tends to do more to their car than mine if they, if they run in the back of it. So uh, <laughs> um, what are my, Next moves on mods. Um, okay, so I think the outside's pretty much done. 
I'm going to be doing um, some interior work next. I'm going to spend some time on the inside this year, such as the back of it, which um, was kind of temporary. I'm going to improve on that and make things more permanent and stuff. And uh, you know, use the similar idea, but just in, just build on what I've done uh, and make it a bit bit better. Um, I was, it was just a quick fix really what I did in there last year just so we could get on some camp trips and stuff. So yeah I'm going to do that, I'm going to update the audio um, and um, there are a couple of things that I'm going to be doing collaboration wise coming up soon. So yeah that's pretty much what's in store for this year. What, what size are my wheels? My silver wheels and tyres. Okay I think I've answered that earlier on but just for a quick fix they're uh, 20 inch 9j wide on the front 10 and a half j on the back et 35 on the front et 42 on the rear running 275 35 20 tires all round uh, what is the switch panel above the mirror for uh yeah i actually made a video on that switch panel right at the start so dig way back but um that useless space above the mirror um I decided to create like a the control panel for stuff like the interior lights so we can switch those on. I can switch them on really easy for the kids in the back. Um, the, the central button is to put the to flip down TV on and uh, I controlled that so that when I switch off the engine for petrol or something like that it, it can leave the TV running for them so it doesn't all shut down so that's really annoying. Um, so yeah and then the third one was for the auxiliary auxiliary cameras um, there's an extra screen in the front um, which uh, I'll bring up on screen now and the that will give me a front splitter camera so I've got a camera right at the nose of the car so I, I miss curbs and stuff and then in the rear I've got one that uh, aims at the tow bar so although there's parking aid I can actually get pretty close to things or even when I hook up to my trailer I can see the tow bar really easily um, so yeah that's what that's for and the voltmeter is just to keep an eye on the when I'm using it when we're static without any hookup and stuff I'll um, I can just keep an eye on the battery voltage if we've got it on for a long time. Uh, what's my favourite mod so far? Oh, yeah, as I say, I think that would be the DRL lights at the front. Uh, I love those indicators and stuff and yeah, that's probably my favourite mod. Um, can I do a video about how I make and edit my, my videos? Uh, yeah, well if there's enough people that would make use of that then of course I could do something like that but obviously to make an entire video on it I'd probably want to see quite a few people be interested in me doing it um, rather than you know make a video that nobody really wants to see so if drop it in the comments if there's a bunch of you that would want me to make a video like that of how I shoot these what I use and how I edit it then I'd be happy to do that but let me know in the comments if I get enough people in favor then I'll do it uh okay do i regret any of my modifications or would i change anything do i regret any of my modifications or would i change anything about what i've done um no i don't think i would i don't think i regret anything um i'm pretty happy with the way everything's turned out huh uh, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> if I was being a criticalist, I would say that that ga gap between the arch and the tyre, I would love to reduce it slightly, but not get in problems at the front. There's only real, really one way I know that you can get comfort um, and an adjustability, and that's if you buy uh, air suspension or something crazy. That's going to be coming up in the next video, guys. Air ride suspension. Uh, look out for that. And um, thanks ever so much for watching this video. Stay safe at the moment. And uh, thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. Hit the bell icon if you want to uh, hear every time I upload.